What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, boys and girls? This is your boy, The Sound of the Rain, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of The Sound of the Rain podcast, episode six. And the title of today's episode is, I Cannot Wait to Procrastinate. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about procrastination and how it... um it's really a challenge uh, regarding myself and, and, and doing things and really in a lot of facets in my life. But we're going to talk about it specifically pertaining to the brand of uh, the sound of the rain. If this is your first time tuning in. This is a podcast where you are witnessing a man going from uh, creating music in his bedroom to being the owner and operator of a multi-million dollar uh, conglomerate um, brand thingy you know uh i'm not like speaking into it speaking it into existence i'm just working hard and you know that's the goal to, to be able to take care of my family uh with my skills and my talents i've been rapping since i was a uh, nine years old um maybe even a little before that i've always loved music and so you know it's just something that uh it comes very naturally to me and um i'd, I'd love to <clears throat> be able to to get paid doing it you know in, in many different uh facets you can uh, go back to the uh, very first episode it's called uh what is sound of the rain and it'll explain that and get into it uh in a lot more deeper fashion i apologize for the uh the kind of stalling or stuttering the power went out looks like there's like a a shortage or a electrical storm or i don't know but um since my computer is battery operated uh we're gonna keep it going okay so the and it totally threw me off. All right, so procrastination. <laughs> the, the the topic of the episode is procrastination, and I'm going to leave in all those stops, gaps, and pauses. Uh, you know, and it as time goes by, I'll get better at uh, editing the podcast to where it seems a lot more seamless. Um, but I think for time for time's sake, it helps me. I just kind of make sure the audio sounds decent. And I just roll with it. Um, previously, when I would try to edit it and I take out every um and you know pause, and it just didn't sound natural. It just sounded uh, really, um, you know, modified ain't the word. I can't think of the word, but but anyway. So I'm gonna get into why procrastination is the topic of this song, the song, the topic of this episode. Um, but one thing I'd like to uh, do first is thank everybody that's been tuning in. Um, I want to thank you for uh, your monetary support. I want to thank you for listening support, uh, leaving reviews, sharing it. Um, it definitely goes a long way. It's, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, we're starting from the ground up. And it's, uh, you know, it's very challenging, especially um, when your numbers were being a little more consistent. Like I'll say, for example, I wanted to talk about the YouTube channel and um, how I'm going to be rebranding it. And initially, um, it was always, you know, focused around me and, you know, making music. And I'd, I'd implement different things. I did cooking videos and uh, stuff like that. Then um, I started posting some Bone Thugs and Harmony content, and that stuff was really taking off. Uh, my subscribers were just very consistent, you know, comments, interactions, and things like that. Um, but the people weren't there for me, you know, and I didn't want to be or I don't want to make a Bone Thugs and Harmony channel. So my approach now is I post up content, you know, so far as of recently, I've just been posting up the podcast episodes and, you know, they don't get a lot of uh, views or even pulling any subscribers. You know, I might get, you know, one to ten, uh, maybe 20 um, on a good day and half of those views. <laughs> might be for me you know so it, it's it's pretty much uh like i said starting from scratch and it's it can be a little frustrating it can be a little bit discouraging you know when you don't see those numbers moving like you you want to or like they were before you know but what i keep in mind and remember is that you know what this is me going in the direction that i should have been going all the time and so it's just going to be a matter of me being consistent and just kind of keeping up with it um next month i plan on joining uh roberto blake's uh awesome creator academy uh which is a, pl a platform in the community for people that are uh, creatives and you know looking to become entrepreneurs and it, it provides a lot of direction and things of that nature um uh, this isn't supported or sponsored um he's the homie I really appreciate him and i'm gonna leave a link to his uh his website in the description of the um 
or in the show notes uh, for the for the podcast episode today. You know, so yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely looking for some ways to 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 rebrand the YouTube channel. It's essentially going to be like what I'm doing here on the podcast, but I want to be able to kind of do it in uh, maybe video form. Um, I like to do tutorials on how to sign up for a distro kit or get your music distri- distributed. Um, I like to show people how to uh, make beats, how to, uh, you know, navigate the different software, the things that I use, pretty much sharing the wealth and the information that I have with others so they can use it. Um, I even would like to, uh, once a year, have like a contest where I could uh, provide uh, one winner with um, a MacBook, a microphone, and some headphones. Essentially, the stuff that I use to start out with. So, you know, so they kind of have something to start out with to, to get themselves going. You know, we're, we're, we're currently we're a ways from being able to do that, but that's something that I look forward to being able to do in the future. You know, just to give you an idea of a direction of where the brand and the channel is going. Um, I do have some good news, which is what brings me to the topic of procrastination. I finally have recorded this beat swag. Yes. Uh, down the line, I would have had some famous, some kind of cool music come on during this part, but, uh, we're going to just keep it moving. But yeah, so I finally recorded the song and procrastination and just putting it off that's what really got me to to record it so i'm, I'm sitting there at home and, you know and i really get in where i fit in when i do stuff i don't have like a set time that i uh record i don't have a set time that i you know it's just like like last night i was up at uh three in the morning listening to you know this beats whack over and over and over and over, you know, listening to areas I can, you know, adjust the volume, you know, add echoes, reverb, stuff like that to the music, to the sound, you know, but right now I'm actually on my lunch break. You know, I work from home, so I, I washed some dishes and I said, okay, you know what? The episode for the podcast goes up tomorrow. I'm not going to feel like doing it tonight. Or I would rather have this out of the way. So let me go ahead and do it now, you know. So and that's actually showing steps towards me kind of being better about procrastination. But yeah, so I went ahead and I knocked out. um, I don't even remember what day it was. It had to be a few days ago. But I was like, you know what? Let me just start recording just to see how it sounds. And so I did. I said, okay, I'm going to just do the first verse. I did the first verse. I did the chorus on the after the first verse. I did the second verse. Then I did the chorus after the second verse. I copy and pasted the chorus from the second and put it after the third. And I did the third verse. And then I went, I cleaned up the vocals. I added EQ to them, compressed them, uh, added a DS or, you know, and then they sound, they sound good. So I was like, okay. As I listened to it, I could possibly see myself re-recording um, some of it, the third verse maybe, um, but I could also see me leaving it the way that it is. Um, I don't consider myself a perfectionist, but I like things that sound a certain way, and if they don't, then I don't want to roll with them. Um, but yeah, so that and that was part of my my reason for procrastinating is because you know I was just kind of thinking like it's not going to come out you know how I want it to. Uh, but lo and behold, you know, um, I recorded it, you know, and, and mixing and mastering, those are things that, you know, people I've seen don't recommend you do until like, uh, you're totally done with it. But for me, it's like, I have to hear, cause it's, it's like, it sounds like my vocals, at least when I do them, they sound like a, a world's apart from the raw vocal to, to what I do when I mix it and master it. So it sounds way better. So I need to hear um, a better quality version of it so I can kind of decide, okay, if I'm going to keep going with it or not. Um, and matter of fact, the first verse on the song, the first verse that I originally wrote, um, I moved on the, the, the note on my uh, Apple Notes 
where I had the lyrics to the song, I moved those lyrics to the very bottom. I didn't delete them, I didn't erase them, and I'm glad. Um, but this was the original verse that I wrote for the song. And so the verse that I was going to use was a verse that was different. It was from a, a song I wrote called 911 uh, that I never put out. And I actually spit um, some of that verse on a YouTube video. Um, but I was going to use it because I felt like it might pull the, the listener in better, you know, because it started with a fast rap. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I was recording it and I wasn't liking how it sounded. <clears throat> so I said, you know what? Let me try and record the original verse. And I went with the original verse and I was like, you know what? I'm digging this. I'm, I'm feeling it. So I, I kept it. And what I loved about the original, what I love about the original verse is that it really sticks with the the kind of the image of Sound of the Rain, like so a lot of times in our culture and society the bad guy gets the praise you know we all love tony montana we all you know love uh tony soprano you know we all love uh robert de niro and he you know it's, it's just a matter of rooting for the bad guys we hate the cops so what i've done is you know the slogan for sound of the rain is like death to evil you hear me say that in songs a lot and so I will rap and say things that come from the perspective of uh, heroes in uh, pop culture media, you know, cartoons, TV shows, comic books, you know, matter of fact, my alias is uh, the Red Ranger of hip hop. Uh, and you know, that's just from my fascination with Super Sentai, um, Power Rangers type stuff. I think the Red Rangers uniform is just like so cool. Like if I could be a superhero, I would want my I would want to look like that. I wouldn't be want to be wearing those spandex, but his his mask and his helmet, too dope. So that's the whole thing. And, and as I listen to the verse, that's really the theme that I was coming with. You know, I I, I was making a lot of references to to defeating evil characters and stuff like that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stick with this. So I knocked that out. Um, then I knocked out the, uh, well, yeah, I said I, I knocked everything out, but yeah, so I went with, I had an alternate verse that I, um, that I had that I was going to use and now I have the original verse. So I might, the, the verse that I was going to use that I recorded the 911 verse, I might actually record that 911 song and put it out, um, just as like a bonus or something like, you know, maybe like a Patreon bonus, um, or a subscriber bonus or something like that when I start getting that stuff figured out. But yeah, so procrastination, um, I've been trying to do some studying on it and, you know, uh, research as far as what kind of causes it. And, and, and somebody might just think like, well, you're just lazy, you know? <laughs> and I've heard people say that it's as simple as you, you don't want to do it, so you don't do it. And you, you kind of put it off until the last minute and I'm so bad about that you know and what it does is it puts this pressure on me um to where I have to crunch and get it done and then there's just relief but I hate that feeling um during that time frame you know I don't like I don't like feeling stressed out you know that was that's one reason why instead of being on my break kind of laying down relaxing and chilling I'm, I'm recording this podcast, you know, um, I got goals, you know, I, I want to, I want to, this to be, uh, my career, you know, and me laying down sleeping, ain't going to get it to where it is my career. So I have to work hard, you know? So I'm on a mission to, to procrastinate less, you know, um, the song that I wrote, um, I need a little help for the Ant-Man movie. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and work on getting that recorded. You know, it's like sometimes before I'm recording, I dread the process. I, I dread doing this. It. Like, I don't want to do it. Like I had a, <laughs> I had a, um, a, a song I was invited to. It was, a, um, a cypher and like the guy gave me a, a deadline. And so I didn't get the chance to do it. I was like sick or something like legitimately. And then, long story short, I, he got it at the, like the last minute, you know. And I hated that feeling because I had been wrote the verse, 
you know, um, it was just a matter of me recording it. You know, sometimes, like I said, I just, I'm not a fan of that process because sometimes it can be so long, grueling, and tiring, and you still don't come up with what you wanted to. You know, it doesn't sound the way that you wanted it to sound, and you spent all that time working on it, and it feels like time wasted. And so, in my mind, I, I kind of present scenarios and outcomes, and based on what I think could, might happen, I determine how I'm going to move or how I'm going to carry myself. And it's, it's not it's not a good thing at all, you know, because that's going to prevent me from doing a lot of things and uh, having a lot of experiences and things that could uh, definitely be beneficial to the brand and help promote the brand. And so I've got to, you know, definitely make sure um, that I'm better about that. Uh, one thing I also wanted to talk about regards to this beast whack is some ideas I have for the marketing for it. Um, will I do these things or will they come into fruition? I'm not sure because I don't know if I have a big of enough, big enough of an audience yet. Like I was saying on a previous episode, when you post things, the only people see the only people that see it are the people that follow you. Or if you put certain hashtags and stuff, it can kind of. Uh, kind of get out there but there was just um an article i saw the other day in the news about how the the, the tiktok algorithm is controlled like they can choose who they want to go viral or not you know and i mean that's that that's discouraging man especially when you work hard and, and try to do stuff and you know there's so much proper propaganda behind that and I ain't even getting into all that because this this ain't what that podcast this podcast is about. But you know, so what my idea was is that so the, the name of the song is "This Beats Whack." So what I'm gonna do or what I was gonna do is post these videos of these like just trash beats. I'm gonna make these like garbage beats, and I'm gonna you know ask the in the comments like, "Yo, what y'all think about this beat?" Or pretend that this is the beat to the song and record myself and rapping to people you know and honestly get people's real reaction like what do they think you know and then i also thought that might backfire and people might really think like this is what the song sounds like and they're like no nah, this is trash so um i might not do that uh, then i also thought about reaching out to people and asking them you know what's your what's the wackest beats you ever heard or what beats do you think that are whack you know i could see like kind of a uh a street corner style where you know how you walk up to the people on the street and do an interview you know like, so what's you know what's one of the beats you think is whack in hip hop um I can't think of any beat that I think is like just whack off the um top of my head actually I can uh zone out um it was, I think it was like on a Nas Braveheart compilation I won't feel in that beat you know but I'm a pretty uh I'm a pretty easygoing person. So for me to like not like something, for me to say it's just like whack, it has to be like super duper trash. I'm I'm pretty, you know, uh compassionate or like, you know, oh, that's cool, it's okay. Like, you know, it might not be for me, but it's you know, it's dope. You know, cause I, I do really realize opinions are subjective and just cause I don't like it or just cause I don't think it's whack, or just cause I think it's whack doesn't mean that it is whack, you know. And the intention and the goal, I don't think that the beat on this beat's whack is whack. I actually like it a lot. Um, but like I said in previous episodes, it's it's really to kind of just pinpoint or to put put a light on the fact that I made this this production myself and this is me working with what I have to the best of my abilities and trying to, you know, create create something because now that I have this I don't have to you know get permission to perform it I don't have to uh, split the 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 revenue with anybody I don't have and, and I don't mind doing those things I think the thing that irritates me like the limited amount of streams and like you know not you know having to pay extra to perform or and every producer isn't like that it's just some of the avenues that I've gone to get production. You know, there were different limitations on some of the songs that, um, a majority of the songs that I put out, you know? Um, yeah. 
and that's that it feels like handcuffs or it feels like just barriers or you know and i and i just want freedom you know i think that's one reason why i like kind of doing everything um on my own um because i have the the freedom and i don't have to kind of answer with or check with anybody before i do do something you know i'm sure they'll get to a point where i will involve people and have a team um if this thing is big enough um i'd even like to, to to be able to employ you know um my wife and my kids and and we kind of just build this into like a family business you know but you know those are uh those are definitely goals and things that we're shooting for um, and we're going to start to wrap this particular episode up, um, but I do want to um, request that if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, I want you to go subscribe to it. Um, if you're not following me on Spotify, um, please follow me on there. Um, if you're not subscribed to the podcast on your favorite podcast uh, service, uh, we're on Audible, we're on Amazon, we're on Google, we're on iHeartRadio, uh, we're on Apple Podcasts, uh, we're on everything. Podcast services I ain't never even heard of before. But uh, yeah, go subscribe to the podcast, leave a review, uh, leave a five star review. You know, I don't like asking for stuff like that, but. You know, it, it would definitely be helpful. You know, it's definitely appreciated. Um, and and when you subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel or follow me on Spotify, go check out some of the music. You know, let me know what you think. You know, um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up or a like or however that works. But, you know, definitely check out, you know, some of the stuff I got. I got like most of my music is on YouTube because of stuff that I couldn't put on streaming services. Um, I was able to put it on YouTube. That's one thing I love about YouTube is they're really good about that. Um, you know, but yeah, definitely uh, check us out. I'm going to leave you with some bars. Um, and these are from, I feel like I'm going to rap when I'm talking about how I rap. I think it's you know important that I do rap. And these are from, um, <clears throat> there was a, it's on YouTube. Uh, it was a freestyle over um, a beat by Slaughterhouse called Hammer Dance. And um, the way that I mixed it, it doesn't sound really good. So I, I, I probably will mix it again or, or re-release it or, or something, do something with it. Um, but I just like to kick some bars with it. Um, just kind of give you an idea, you know, for people, like, yeah, I hear him talk about music all the time, but I've never heard his music. Go listen to my music. <laughs> Yo, I got a hammer like Thor, and that thing ready to soar. I'm a Spartan general who done forged war with the Norse with force. Bear these arms like Kuma. Tech in mixed with a Kuma. Street fighting Kazuya. Alert all intruders. Berserk brawling sued to the rhythm of a hi-hat. First y'all get used to the new sheriff in town. Speed of a Puma. And it ain't nothing to rush ya when I'm busting coming to do ya. Look, it ain't nothing to dust em when I'm rushing coming to pursue ya. When I'm winning, I'm spinning. Kicking dust and losing losers. Get used to the sound cause thy voice shall reign. Accolades for my skill. All praise the Jesus name so just remember that when I'm spitting that flame damage amateurs give pros pain this propane unleaded homie you done I done said it Jedi they done jet it troopers and call medics cause they starship crash I had the last laugh you jokers up the bat but I truly question that cause you cat and that's a fact so please riddle me this cause while bullets riddling this I'm snatching riddling packs to gain focus hocus pocus alakazam ain't nan man on earth battling sham I rot like mega man done decipher your plan Hands to the back Like Naruto when he ran Ready to clap something But not with a gun But with the force of a man That can bless one punch Toto Jujutsu Kaisen Metal Gear riding Now the realm raiding God of war Poseidon Death to evil Say hi to the good guy A big boss Thor patch cover my good eye Call it fate This solid snake With a piece of Gotham's great You can dash but not escape The wrath upon your fate Now, now You ready to rumble? What? I give a direction to these actors Pull out the blade And then I yell cut I got the mass immune if you feeling froggy then jump sound in the rain nerd raps volume one all right so thank you for tuning in until the next time peace